The dwarves of Kazadoom are here to reclaim their homeland. What's up guys, we are back with another glorious Moria Siege battle for you here today. And we do have the War of the Mountains uh, deals, well submod not DLC being used here today. So yeah, it adds a whole bunch of new factions for the dwarves including uh, Kazadoom which we have some glorious units here. Look at these guys in bright gold, the guards Durin's Gate, they look pretty damn awesome. And uh, yeah, we have Kazadoom and Ered Mithrin here fighting together in this one. I'm very much excited to see how this one goes down. Uh, we do have, I mean, War, War of the Mountains, you know, is kind of a little bit, I feel like, unbalanced. But in this one, I believe today we do have actually got uh, the War of the Mountains, like, goblins here playing. So yes, I think uh, most of the goblin units uh, for War of the Mountains are here today. They've got a whole bunch of new cool, like, elite shock infantry. And also some other archers and swords as well. We have Goblin Blade Warriors uh, sort of engaging with some Arid Mithrim nobles here. But they're actually going back down the uh, the steps like, oh no, that's too scary for us. And looks like we're going to see Kazad crossbows here start to shoot and toot their way through those uh, Goblin Blade Warriors. We'll see how they can do. But yeah, you can see here, Allied Man Count is about 2,500 against about just under... 5,000. We have a nice 2v2 here in this one. I think the unit size is also a little bit smaller because uh, Mountain Trolls at 6 out of 6 instead of uh, out of uh, 8 out of 8, which is a bit of a shame to see. But it's still be a very, very fun one. The dwarves are massively outnumbered, that's for sure. And there is uh, multiple rows of defenses here for the uh, goblins. We have Night Raiders back here. We've got a Goblin Scrappers. I don't know if they're a new unit or they are just maybe like the low tier unit we just never see for the goblins. Goblin Bodyguards, that is a new War of the Mountains unit. A very, it was a heavy shock infantry unit. And uh, I don't know if there are any others. Goblin King, Goblin Black Shield Guard is another uh, sword unit that's been added. I think they're better than the Goblin Blade Warriors. So yeah, they're in there as well. And then uh, I think that's really it. I think that's all that really that gets added. There's a whole bunch of uh, bodyguards waiting, it seems, for these choke points here. It looks like the Goblins are going to have a bit of a, uh, a layered defense, which is good to see. But yeah, it looks like the uh, Dwarves are trying to focus down these Blade Warriors here, trying to do weaken them up. Honestly, they're just probably better off just going on in. Uh, Moria's halls don't really suit uh, crossbows, that's for sure, which is kind of ironic because it's a Dwarven map, and uh, yeah, it doesn't really suit crossbows at all. I do like how these guys are floating in midair. What has happened to you guys? These uh, Khazad Legionnaires getting ready to go in. But yes, Khazad Doom is here, ready to try and reclaim its halls. And uh, it's going to need the help of its Dwarven ally, it seems, Ered Mithrin. It looks like, as well, the uh, Ered Mithrin nobles are going to just get in pretty much undisturbed. It looks like they're not going to defend the top of this uh, stairway, which I'm quite glad about because I don't really like this first sort of like chamber being defended. Unless it's sort of like in the choke points, which I think is fine. But like certainly defending that first gateway kind of makes for just a boring sort of like choke point uh, battle, which, uh, yeah, I mean, no one really wants to see. It's not very entertaining. But yes, we are here. It looks like the uh, Erymithra Nobles are pretty bad. I think that's from the spike traps that the defenders set up here. They have so many spike traps set up. They've just uh, murdered that noble unit, but it does seem as though uh, they're going to get in. And they're probably still, you know, fairly dangerous for goblins. 63 of them uh, to go in. That can do a lot of damage. But uh, yeah, I mean, if they set up the crossbows here, maybe the dwarves, they can maybe just shoot down these pole arms that are waiting. That would be a good target. But yes, if you're enjoying Dawn's Days and would like to see some more Lord of the Rings action or more uh, Lord of the Rings sort of sieges like this, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support, guys. It really does help out the channel. And if you don't want to miss out on a single Dawnless Days battle or stream, then do remember to hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on a single bit of the action. Yes, yeah, so it looks like the first sort of battle is going to get underway here. Blade Warriors are waiting patiently, and the dwarves are coming in. And there you go. Shields are down, maces are up, and they're going in. And yeah, these uh, nobles are a mace unit, really, not actually an axe unit, which is really cool to see. I do like that maces are giving a bit more love in Dawn Stays. I feel like only like the Loki Rim really have them. So yeah, sub mods adding a few more sh mace units. Actually, um, maces of Tolfalas or something for Umbar. That's another mace unit. But yeah, they're going in and they're doing a bit. I do like the like the bronze sort of armor as well, like bronze sort of like rusty looking armor. That, like Air this one's kind of going towards the vibe. It looks really cool. I am a big fan of it. Yeah, if you ever want to check out the uh, War uh, of the Mountains submod, then uh, the link for it is in the description down below as well. As Dawnless Days, the mod will always be there as well if you want to go and check it out. If you haven't checked out Dawnless Days yet, what are you doing, man? It is one of the best and most exciting mods for Attila Total War. It really is. 
It's good to see the uh, Casa Doom Legionnaires now inside their, their halls. They probably missed this place. They're probably like, oh, I remember these walls. I've got some graffiti up there myself, some of my runes. But yes, they are back here and they are ready to go. And these Khazad Legionnaires, solid infantry. They will do a lot of work here. They're very heavy axe infantry. And they actually do have axes as well. And uh, yeah, really they just need to set up the crossbows and start firing away. I mean, the archers might try and focus them down, but it should be fine. I imagine, I mean, yeah, the, uh, the um, nobles here are killing off the blade warriors. Uh, no real surprise there. But uh, I imagine the dwarves have brought pole arms and pikes. Ah, yes, we have a general pike, Frost Guard of Arid Mithrin. They're one of the coolest looking units, if I remember correctly, as well. Yeah, these guys look awesome. They kind of remind me of, like, Spartans a little bit with the head, like the headdress. I uh, like the little feathers on the top, but they do look awesome. They're really cool looking unit. I'm a big fan of them. Um, so yeah, they've got a pike. Um, but I think that is honestly it for like pikes or pole arms. We've got Balin here with Durin's guys, a 45 man unit. I think it's 60 if it's a, if you like have ultra sized units on. But it's an absolute killer of a unit. This is just, yeah, it's overpowered. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see Balin go in there. He's going to be here to reclaim his halls. We have protectors of. Azanul Bazaar, in here a spear unit, and somewhere down here, I think they're the, uh, yeah, they're these like shield, like spear and shield units here, they kind of look pretty cool, and it looks like also we've got Arid Mithrin veterans going, which is no surprise since Arid Mithrin is here, here today, are they really going to blob up all these um, nobles, definitely not a good idea, they send in an extra one, yeah, but don't send in like two or three, yeah, there you go. More dwarves going in. Just firing these units out. Just an extra unit would have been fine. Just send them in. Support the boys. There you go. What are they doing on the other side? Uh, it looks like they're just the Khazad Legionnaires is getting shot up. Which is uh, no surprise there. The Goblins using their superior range units. And you can say superior because they are bow units. So they're actually going to arc and actually like do damage. The crossbows are going to have to rely on flat services. Which they are going to get in this choke point here potentially. But it actually looks like the pole arms have already read the situation of falling back. They saw all the crossbows coming forward. They're having none of it. Khazad Legionnaires now could rush forward and just attack these pass. Scouts are waiting here. There's also Goblin Warband further back that are, you know, also, you know, supporting the archers. But they're not going to stop these uh, Legionnaires, that's for sure. And it looks like uh, the Goblins are falling back. the letting the Dwarves further into this choke point. I'm surprised that the Dwarves are able to just, just let them go like this. We've got Hive Chieftain's Garden here as well. So already some elite being committed by the Goblins. You can see, look at this. It's the battle, it's the battle of the short people. It's a foot race who can catch up with the, each other. I imagine the dwarves are a little too heavy. Won't catch these guys up, but I might be wrong. What are they luring them back to? They're luring them back to pole arms. So yeah, the uh, dwarves say they're gonna need something to sort that out. And that's not gonna be easy here, because the dwarves, they've seen the was waiting and they're not going down there. They're not sending any of their troops in. We've got Erdmuth and Veterans going down there as well. I guess they're uncapped, uh, since it's Erdmuth from playing with them. And uh, yeah, there you go, we've got the Legionnaires in here battling now against these Goblin Spearmen and they're, yeah, they're missing Goblin Warband, they're really not going to stop anything. They're just here to slow down the Dwarves. Really, they should be trying to use archers, I feel like, at this point while they're the Warband slowing them down. All it's done is really feed kills for the Dwarves here. The next layer of defense, though, a little bit tougher. We've got Hive Shootings, Guards, we've got Pole Arms, Archers and Trolls waiting. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit tougher for those dwarves. And they've also started their assault over here as well. Has Kazadoom. Yeah, the protectors of Azanul uh, uh, Bazaar are in there. There's always a tongue twist to say. But yeah, if you want to send in your own Golden Stage replays to feature on the channel, then feel free to send them into my Discord. The link is down below in the description as well. So if you want to go and check that out and get involved in any Golden Stage battles or scenarios, you're more than welcome to do so. Archers, they actually played the wrong side. They gone into melee? I think that might have been the case. That's why they were falling back. Yeah, the spears here are not going to break through this sword line. They're going to need these. Need to send the axes in. 
seems like the play is trying to get the uh, Legionnaires just right, just perfect. Or he sends them in. They do look badass, I will admit, with like the black sort of like with black uh, armor. It's like black silvery in the right light. It looks awesome. They're getting, they're getting stacked up, ready to go in. Just going to try and bat the way through. They need to just go in, to be honest. The Spears are not going to win that fight on their own. It seems like the players are just being a little bit passive for the Dwarves here. I'm intrigued to see how uh, you're going to go about this. It's not exactly the longest of battles, so I'd imagine the Dwarves are going to have to do something pretty sharpish if they're going to try and even break through. But yeah. You can see here, look at these boys. They look glorious. They really do. And the banners as well. Look awesome. They really, uh, they've done a good bit of work, you know, with this mod. They really have. I'm intrigued to see if they add any more because I know they've liked them Gundabad and they've like done a bit for the uh, goblins. And obviously they've put new dwarven factions in. Whether, whether they'll do any more, maybe they just feel like they've completed their bit, which is fair enough. You don't need to do a full overhaul, just add a little bit maybe. I mean, there really aren't many of them. I mean, you could get down to Erid Lewin as like another mount, like Dwarven faction. There isn't much more you need to add. There aren't many mountainous factions. There you go, the Legionnaires going in now. Axes are going to start swinging. The Black Shield Guard will hold the line. Tell their Black Shield Guard because they have this uh, sort of like strange can helmet going on. I don't know how they see out of this. It's like a, a mouth on their, on their face there. Spears doing a bit. Axe is going in as well. Black Hill Guard, though, don't look like they're anywhere near close to breaking. Oh, we do have archers for uh, Aerid Mithrin. I forgot they do have them. The Dragon Track is here. A pretty damn elite unit. A pretty de decent hybrid unit. This guy's got an arrow in his face. Taking it like a champ. But yeah, these are elite archers. They've yet to take a lot. Uh, and they look like they're doing a lot of decent damage to these uh, Mountain Pass Scouts. So they probably could take both these units on, to be honest. These, and they're in loose formation, which is probably helping them in their duel. Um, but yeah, that is... Yeah, actually, this is going to be good for the Dwarves. They actually have things that can counter the uh, the problem of the pole arms. Uh, that's good. And you can see Swords here losing against crossbows. I wonder if that's because they pulled through or whether because their Mithrims are still breaking them. I don't know. They have... Managed to sneak these guys out of formation. The goblins have been baited out by the crossbows. And now they're killing this high chieftain's guard pretty easily. The veterans in there doing their bit. Battering them with their hammers. Threshing the skulls. Yeah, the crossbows, you know. Not doing too bad. Not too shabby. I don't know how strong the crossbows are. Where they, like I said, I don't know if they're well balanced, these factions. Like the Goblin Vanilla units probably can't, might not hold well up against the Dwarves, I'm not sure. And there you go, the problems are losing to Shock Infantry and to Axe. I mean, they're now steadied again, but yeah, that's not so good actually for the Goblins either. Uh, how are the Black Shield Guard doing over here? Old and feet. strong, actually. Men are breaking. Oh, over here. What have we got breaking? Kazadum Legionnaire is breaking. Uh, oh, they're actually... And the Goblins are counter-attacking. We've got champions under the mountains here going in. The shock infantry. They look pretty cool, actually. All got like that uh, axe that uh, Gimli has. Battle axe. Uh, yeah, they're doing a decent amount of damage. But they were really blobbing up over here is Kaz Doom. Got a lot of shock here. Durin's old Mithril guard. Looks like a mantra claiming with a uh, with a battle axe, or like with a warhammer. But 
they're in there barring away I mean they are trying to hold back uh, these guys are the goblins and they only hold got goblin scrappers in night raiders I'm not going to think too scary it's a few better units like goblin bodyguards back there by the looks of it and it looks like a champion of the mountains is losing they're actually losing here as well and yeah they could get flanked here the goblins should really commit everything I think for this uh, little push because yeah it doesn't seem like uh, Castle Doom's really reacting he says some crossbows not going to do a lot the trolls though um, could definitely do, do some damage and encircle these guys and they could master out a lot of these dwarves I think could be a nice little uh, envelopment I'd send more forces this way to try and threaten that. We have a, oh, it's a supply round, not a knowledge here. But uh, yeah, I think they should really try and encircle that if they can. And those dragon trackers are now out of ammo and in combat, they're losing. That's not good. Mainly though, they run out of ammo so quickly. The Black Shield Guard holding the line here. They, I mean, they're losing decisively, but they're holding back a lot of troops and they're sending in a few more some spear warriors as well it's not looking so good for on the uh, Khazad Doom front uh, the Arid Mithran front looking a bit better but again a lot of blobbing going on a lot of blobbing from either side like both sides are doing it the uh, looks like the dwarves are making a bit more progress here I think I mean, the pole arms are nearly dead. That's a big win. You can see the dwarves are nearly broken through, actually, on like, this flank here. So much so that you can maybe like sneak a unit through. Be careful not to pull through. The dwarves look like they might be doing it a little bit. Like, yeah, look at this. This is like some pulling through going on here. Just, just fight eat the guys in front of you. There's no rush. No rush. The dwarves are like, just better quality anyway. Oh, and these crossbows have been caught out. That's what I feared. I'm surprised he allowed this. Yeah, these uh, crossbows caught up by the spear, goblin spear or warriors. Yeah, that's them dead. See, yeah, uh, uh, high chieftain's guards. They caught these guys out, and this uh, high chieftain's guard here, if they want to, can flank around now. And it seems like the goblins, even though they're losing here, are starting to surround the, the dwarves. Even though, yeah, they're even though they're uh, losing, still surrounding these guys. The dwarves just don't care if they're surrounded. They are also getting focused down on the dwarves by mountain pass scouts, so that's probably doing a lot of damage. They're shooting right into those Kazakh uh, Kazak crossbows there. Actually, everything's losing in this combat, which is fair enough. That's how war goes. Everyone's a loser, really. There you go, they're starting to break these uh, goblin units here, slowly but steadily, but it's going to be massive losses there. And there's still more goblins on the way, and here we go, reserves being thrown in. The guards Durin's Gate now being sent in to deal with these guys. These golden boys are going in. They'll hopefully get some work done. I imagine these guys are like Iron Guard level, sort of like Spearmen, like really elite, fairly decent on attack. Like I said, can I, can I give me Spartan vibes as well, actually? Like the, uh, the feather, red feathers. The spear Warriors need to get involved somehow. We've got lots of... Yeah, there's, there's only two units of a... Uh, like, Durin Gates unit there. They don't need multiple of them. Still trying to break through here. It's arguably probably the hardest choke point to break through. And it looks like it's the most stacked right now by the defenders. It's really looking horrible to break through. We've got fists of the mountain coming forward here. Have a look at these guys. We've still got more archers and more pikes than combine well, the pike generals come in. Oh, fists of the mountain literally have a massive morning star of a mate. But they're not going to send all these guys in down there. They don't need to. It's just too much blobbing at that point. Serious blobbing. Over on this side here, it looks like the dwarves have nearly overwhelmed the goblins here. And then once they're through that, there's not actually anything over here that's to stop them. They can go for that cap point if they want. Goblins are starting to run out of uh, manpower, down to 2,400 against 600 dwarves. 
Oh. And there we go. We're in. Back in there, boys. There you go, Goblin starting to break. I think the other ones will follow suit soon. Uh, they did send in some of the fists to the mountain, it seems. I, honestly, I think Kaz the Doom over there needs more support rather than sending in more guys here. This is just horrendous. Far too much. Like, are these guys really helping the fight? No, they're not breaking, they're not killing a single goblin. So why send them in and tire them out? No need. They're just actually already active somewhere. Because they've been running around and in theory attacking. This one's attacking. This one's actually assisting the fight. Just by sending more troops in does not mean you're necessarily going to break through. It looks like they have broken through on this side. Castle Doom is in with a tiny, tiny units left. Some seriously bloodied up old Mithril guard here. And they are about to break, I think. But uh, they might kill off these Mountain Pass scouts first. We'll see. The uh, Legionnaires down here look like they are going to be just fine. They'll kill off these scouts. No problem at all. Trolls could do with being committed soon, I have a feeling. Oh, they are in here. Excellent. In against the uh, Durin's Gate guard. Guards Durin's Gate, I should say. Got a bold troll. I've got a, a helmet on. What happened to you, sir? Go on, swing. Give that a big swing, sir. There you go. Whack him down. Most of them will probably get up again, but... It still looks awesome. It really does. And there you go on that right flank there. Eridmithrin has broken through. That is going to be a problem there for the goblins if they uh, manage to get in behind. There's a lot of dwarves there. I never seen these like reserves actually get to the front line and do some work here. I don't know what those dragon slayers are doing. They need to make. Sure they definitely cannot go for the unit behind. But that's what they want to go for. They want to go for the archers. You need to understand, sir, that you can't pull through. You need to kill what's in front of you. You get the Dragon Slayers in the fight. I think this is the best shock infantry available to Eric Mithra. We've got the Goblin King is in there, but uh, we'll see whether he can make a difference. I think he's now trying to contain those Dragon Slayers. We've got more archers back here with... Uh, good amount of ammo left as well they need to start firing start blasting into these fists of the mountain and anything else is pretty vulnerable trolls over here still trying to hold back the spears uh guards of doom's gate never seen that very often shocking to goblin bodyguards elite shock using to elite spears don't see that often Durin's, get, um, Durin's gates, guards of Durin's gates. They've got lives. archers in combat here with, with ammo left. They should get them out, get them blasting into uh, the dwarves. One of the easiest ways they've been killing off these dwarves is by getting rear shots and side shots. Got another general here fighting. I think this is just a high chief Dane's guard, not a goblin king. He's fighting for his life against these veteran dwarven units. Like these Khazad legionnaires. The legionaries, I should say. And uh, the old Mithril guard here, they're, they're fighting on hard. So they do not give in. They literally are fighting down to like the last war. Oh. Nope. 
running. And as I say that, they wave and break. I thought they were obviously going to fight to the last man. I think we're about to see uh, Balin with Durin's guard go in. I don't really know how they differ from their Durin's old Mithril guard, I guess. Not just Durin's guard. They could have done with a bit of a variety in the names. Got a lot of Durin being mentioned here. The guards of Durin's gates. I understand like Durin and uh, Mithril. They're kind of like the big things of Casa Doom. Maybe just do with a uh, few different names. Goblins bodyguard, and yeah, they're all starting to die. The trolls yet to lose a troll, though. That's obviously a positive. I imagine they've been racking up kills. And there you go, that flanking force getting in there behind. Looks like they are losing to the uh, to the goblin shock here, though. Could do with their support. They're like. Those other uh, reinforcements, which look like they're coming up a holy, holy, uh, an entirely different way, I was trying to say. But apparently, I was going to say, holy different way. Killed. And there you go, Excellent. General's been killed. That is, I think, the Goblin King actually dead. Yeah, he's died to Dragon Slayers. I mean, if these guys, you know, in their professional time, kill dragons, I feel like, you know, killing a Goblin, it's just not even a sweat for them. The Goblin King. Yeah, easy work. Killing him. Fashion away, and there you go. That might break the morale here of the final goblin units. I mean, some of these black shield guard have been holding on for a long time. Well, I mean, there's a lot of blobbed up units in here, which I don't feel like are helping. Like the general, the frost guard, is not really in the fight. He's back here just getting shot for the fun of it. It's why you don't blob, ladies and gentlemen. Um, just send in like one or two units, and then once you've done that, then just like, and they're tired or weakened, cycle them out if you want to. Trolls are now dying. I think they try to pull through, which is allowed. Trolls can pull through, but they got through and found archers back in. These dragon trackers, again. Guys that are used to just, you know, killing dragons. Killing a troll is probably not a problem for them. We've got Durin over here now fighting against the High Chief Dane Scarlet. Well, they kill him, I imagine, as well. That might do a lot of morale damage. He is losing. I don't see this uh, being turned around anytime soon, unless the goblins can somehow break through to him. Trolls are winning again, though. They actually managed to killing off these uh, guards at Durin's Gate. Yeah, actually, all of them are losing. Because those trolls pull through. They're actually being used as they should be. That's what they do, the trolls. They, you know, they break up formations. They should pull through, break them up, let the infantry swamp through. How you use them. But yeah, they are also getting shot easily now by the uh, Dragon Trackers. Yeah, they just like get nice side shots. Already down to three, I think, no, four out of six. And yeah, we have got uh, Goblin Bodyguards breaking as well. Archers in, in melee, it's just sad to see. Especially Goblin Archers. They're not going to be, obviously, very good in melee. And it looks like, yeah, we're seeing fire is being used. Probably trying to route these guys. But it's going to do damage to their own morale of, uh, the, uh, of the guards of Jordan's Gates here. So you be careful about that. But I guess maybe the more confident the Goblins will break sooner with no general. Uh, but yeah, this whole right flank is now gone. And now it is just... Uh, it's just down to these remaining troops over here. I imagine once this general dies, like I said, we probably will see a mass rout. But yeah, it looks like Khazad Doom is going to be reclaimed by the dwarves. They have 960 left against uh, 250. Most of those are, uh, troops are here, I think. Yeah, the pole arms trying to do that bit. I don't know how they won't win in this fight. Pole arms and trolls fighting against spears. They really should have won this fight. Shows maybe the power of some of these units in the sub mod. Trolls, I mean, also the trolls should have been getting through and trying to silence these archers. Like just charge into one and then charge into the other. Well, they should have done, but looks like, yeah, the you're reinforcing Khazad Doom units with protectors of Azan Nul Bazaar. They're going to come flank it in now, rear charge those pole arms. They should then route these pole arms uh, with a rear charge. The trolls still, well, there you go. I was about to say, they've do been dodging arrows quite a bit. Because those two have survived for a long time, but uh, not to be the case anymore. There you go, he's routed. And I think we're about to see a mass route here in a moment as the uh, High Chieftain's Guard breaks. And there you go, everything else breaks for the goblins. And there you go, a Khazadum victory, a Peric victory uh, for the dwarves. So we'll end the replay and have a quick look at the end results.
So this is from Dragon History Games uh, perspective here. So thank you very much for sending this one in, man. Uh, we've got 329 kills here with his old Mithril Guard playing as Kazadoom. Very good. 361 with the other one. 387 kills with his uh, legionaries here. And then his spears, those elite spears, all got triple figures. Five, uh, a 151 and then... Uh, 269 is the other one. Uh, his crossbows actually did get a 118 kills. Not too bad. Then we have Adreas playing as Ered Mithrin. Uh, he got 112 kills with these fists of the mountain. They eventually did get to the front line then and actually had some effect, which is good to see. Um, and then he's got Ered Mithrin veterans here with 162 kills, 178 kills. Uh, Dragon Slayer is getting 282 kills. So yeah, the best shock infantry available. Got the most kills. It's good to see. The uh, Nobles here getting 105, 127 kills. And his uh, Dragon Trackers getting 151 kills. Then we have Clue playing as the Goblins. One of his Black Shield Guard getting 102 kills here is not too bad um and then he's got yeah hype chieftain scars and goblin bodyguards struggling 97 kills not too bad against dwarves 107 with the goblin spear warriors here i did wonder if the pole arms since the uh dwarves didn't really bring any pikes or pole arms they would be very effective and they certainly were there triple figures and then charlie don't surf playing as the other goblin army 60 kills with his hype chieftain's guard uh 74 with another one there uh, yeah, and they brought a lot, spammed out a lot of these lighter troops, um, which didn't really do anything. And this troll's got 105 kills, which is not too shabby there. But there you go, guys. The dwarves have reclaimed Moria in this siege battle. If you did enjoy and would like to see more Dawnless Days and Lord of the Rings action, do remember, like I said, to leave a like, subscribe, uh, comment, all that shenanigans. And if you want to check out more Dawnless Days uh, battles, there are some now appearing on your screen, some very epic ones. But until next time, guys, I'll see you. Later.